Okay, bunk 16 it is. So yeah, okay, it says bunk 16. So this game is a horror game, kind of like Infra, but before I had Infra, wait, I don't know when this game came out, oh well, I just remember that there was a game that I played, alright, your name is Peter Reed, you fled a thunderstorm that took and took shelter in the abandoned bunker, as soon as you were inside, the door closed behind you, you have your headlamp with you, some food and some water. Your goal, find a way out of the bunker. Hint. Batteries don't last forever. Oh, last thing. Oh well, you guys can do it. You get this with some balls. It's kind of disturbing and... Um... Well, it's the end. Let's eat it open. So you need to find the key for this, but there's no key. I mean, that's a spoiler. You can't get out. There's like a syringe that kills you. Okay, nothing there. Switch to on. And if you get to the kitchen... So this is the bedroom. We do open everything now. There's no running in this, and there's no jumping either. Alright. I fled a storm and took shelter in the abandoned bunker. As soon as I was inside, the door closed behind me. Now I can't open it. The door must have locked automatically when it closed. There's a keyhole in the door, of course, but of course, no key. Okay, well. To turn all the hallway lights to on, because it's the most efficient way to uh, use battery. Of course there's like this mode here, 50% slower. Switch on. There's a bit gone in there. Damn. I am supposed to attend a conf call at 10pm. We need to find a way out of here. Let's hope there's an emergency exit or a window that is large enough. A huge thank you to the to however intent invented the flashlight and batteries. Let's hope this place is not too big. Okay. There is electricity in here. Which kind of gives the vibe that there's still people living in here down here. There are notes scattered around, but they do change, almost if they're like foreshadowing the player that I'm playing as, but they do disappear so it's kind of useless. There's no emergency exit and there's no windows. That would have been far too easy, wouldn't it? I have to start searching for the 
key to unlock the main door. And you can walk away with these. You can walk with them as far as you want. Okay, what was that? I didn't see. It was probably like some kind of jump scare, but I didn't see it because I had the page in the way, so... It's an exploit to not get jump scared. So there's a demon of a um, traitor. Oh wait, I'm supposed to flip. Uh, change the fuse to number 6. Where is the fuse box? Oh, here it is. There we go. There we go. We have electricity in these rooms. There's also a hallway light here, but wait, is that this switch? No. We also need to go to sleep. Okay, I've now searched for an hour or two, but I haven't been able to find the key, the key yet. If I had a wrench, I would maybe remove the screws in the door. Of course, I do not have a wrench with me. Who takes a wrench on a hike, right? Well, I think it is a good idea to bring screwdrivers, because if you uh, take shelter in, like, abandoned buildings and stuff like this happens, then yes, it's going to be really useful to have a uh, form of removing screws. And make sure you take like a whole pack. Of course a pack that I would have. Alright, I think that's all the notes, so now we can go to sleep. I'm not tired yet, there's still one more note somewhere. There's also vents, but you can't go inside them. Probably lead outside, but you know. We've been here. Yes, and also, how is this a hallway? Like. Okay. And there's this. Is there still a note over here somewhere? Probably still is. looked at that. That's really it. There's nothing else to be looking at. There's nothing else to look at. Fine. Is this in the... I have no watch, but I assume that it is now almost midnight. I have missed the con call. I am dead tired. I saw a couple of beds in one of those one of the rooms. I'll take a nap there and continue searching for the key once I wake up. Okay, so now we go to bed. Let's close the door. Okay. Actually, let's not close the door. Kind of like infra, but there's a demon. Of course we hear sounds. And speedrunning this game would be really hard, because the layout of the uh, bunk changes.
Alright, here we go. When I woke up, I heard a noise coming from outside my door. I hoped that maybe someone had opened the main door and entered the bunker. As soon as I went outside my room, the noise was gone. The main door is still closed and there is no one around. So this is when you get the feeling that something might be stalking you or watching you inside. And when you think about it, it's really creepy that you just turn around and you have like this vision of someone there. And they just went right around the corner and just because you can't run in this game, you can't get away from it or chase it. I have realized that someone that some of the crates are not in the same place as they were yesterday. It looks like someone has searched through them. Did someone enter the bunker while I was asleep? Could they be still in here? If so, why are they so quiet? Are they hiding from me? I arm myself with a steel pipe and tell them to show themselves. And okay, I think this is where the sh foreshadowing ends. Because, um, um, we don't have a steel pipe unless I really have it. Of course, I didn't get an answer, therefore, I went ahead and searched through the bunk again. There's, there are not that many places for a person who could be hiding in here. I couldn't find anyone. Is it possible that they were leaving the bunker just when I woke up? Oh, okay. Oh, they're in there. Okay. Well, something is in there. And now they're not in there anymore. It is mysterious because this is when you've realised that they've just disappeared. Of course, they might have hung on the ceiling. The ceiling is really low, which it's kind of claustrophobic. There's a chest or a crate that we need to open. Since I couldn't find anyone, I have decided to wait near the entrance for them to return. Armed with my steel pipe, I'm now sitting on the concrete floor. To save the battery power, I have to put the last remaining fuse into the slot for the entrance and switch the light on. Yeah, okay. So where's the key? We need to find it. It should probably be in the kitchen. Or it is in the kitchen. This is when you start the sightings of this thing. I waited for like three hours near the entrance and nothing has happened. All I could hear was the sounds of rain while I was waiting. I started to wonder what they were doing in here. Were they looking for something? Is there something of value in here? I'll now get up and search through the bunk again. Maybe I missed something. Mexican eyes don't really help with this vibe that something might be watching you. Because your eyes do get really irritated when um, the lights flicker or something really bright goes away really quick and comes back again in the dark background. Nothing there is... nothing. There is nothing of value in here. Just empty crates and barrels. There's no key either. I guess there is nothing to do but wait until they return. I hope they are not criminals. What if they were hiding something in here and now that they have picked it up and they won't come back? Criminals would probably hide it, probably in one of the vents because usually people don't check the vents. Of course it would be a pretty bad idea to put it there. Because um, if they're arranged, they would probably take this off, see what's behind there. It's probably more repair from collapse, or well, it started collapsing, so they fixed it. 
I'm sitting on the floor near the entrance. I inspected the main door. But there's no way I'll ever be able to open it by myself without the key. In my head, I'm going through the options that I have. Unfortunately, there's not that many. In fact, there is only two. Either someone opens the door for from the outside, or I will die first in here. Okay. Here is the key. And that's coming out of the vent. And now this is the creepy music part. Okay, I already read that. This is probably the first jump scare. So this is where the paranoia comes in. You never know when the jump scares are going to happen. I think they're randomly generated because I didn't exactly expect them. Of course, I did try to start seeing a pattern. Of course, these narrow tunnels make it really hard. The first note. Then I returned to the bunker late last night. I know she shouldn't, should not be here, but who cares? My men love her and so do I. We offer her a safe and warm place to sleep and in return she offers us a body. What? Sounds fair to me. Well, no. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't know how they meant it. And if it was sarcastic or something. So can we go to bed now? Oh, I'm not tired yet. There's still a note somewhere. There's one here. I've spent half an hour pounding on the front door with my steel pipe. Maybe someone heard me. I have managed to stay calm so far, I hope I'll be able to keep this up. I have only very little water and food left, and none of the water taps are working. Did I just hear someone whisper my name? And this is when the creepy demonic thing, I mean the demonic thing started when the red eyes came. Of course, it is a side effect of um, um, claustrophobia that you start seeing things. You, f you feel like you're not alone anymore. If you stare into the shadows for too long, your mind starts playing tricks on you. This is exactly what happened to me right now. I see movement in the shadows. I need to get some sleep. I'll leave the door the dorm door open just in case they come back. Even if it's thieves, it can't be worse than dying in here. I think you'd rather lose your wallet than die in uh, this place. And I think this is why people, or this is why authorities block or collapse these kind of areas or demolish them to um, stop people from getting trapped in them and dying in them because, you know, because something breaks, you close a door, you play with the door, for example a glass door, you play with it, it breaks, you can't open it anymore and you're stuck inside the bunker. So yes. Last time I didn't leave the, um, last time I played this I didn't leave the dorm open, actually I haven't left it open, never, because I got, because I thought that my character would close it. I'm trying to follow the story, maybe there's a secret ending, however I doubt it because I tried all kinds of different things. I've tried the finalist cutscene, go back to the door in case it comes back, 
or it opens somehow. But no. And I think when um, someone's alone in like a claustrophobic place, like really cramped space for a long time, and uh, no way of finding their way out, their mind kind of deals with it by making up non-real things. But these non-real things really just go really far off reality, and they just look disturbing when the person thinks about it. So things like movement, is giving the mind the feeling that there's still someone in there, because you know, really being really really alone is kind of bad for the brain, I suppose. Uh, I didn't sleep well, I was woken up by the sound of something heavy being moved, it sounds as if a shelf or a heavy rock was pulled over concrete. I ran out of the dorm room, but as, soon as, but as soon as I was outside, the noise was gone. And this is when the creepiness starts. Why is there a wall here? There's, there was no wall here yesterday. This is not possible, but it's a solid concrete wall. There used to be a hallway followed by a storage area here. Now both are gone. Where am I? What is going on here? So this is when you start thinking about is this place real? Or is it just a dream? What is going on here? The layout of the whole bunker has changed overnight. The kitchen used to be downstairs, now it's on the left of the entrance. All the Loopholes are gone, and the restroom is now directly behind the kitchen. I'm losing my mind. This can't be. It just isn't possible. What if there was a hidden key somewhere, but no one noticed it, found it? Okay. Another note. For a moment I thought this was perhaps just a dream. I slapped myself in the face a couple of times, but that didn't help. I'm still here. This is really happening. What is this place? I hear someone walking around, I have Hide. Um, well, uh, I think it's better to just get found out. The main door is where it used to be, but of course it is still locked. It feels as if the hallways got even narrower and the ceiling is lowered. All of a sudden the air smells stale. Did the ventilation system stop working? Is it possible to suffocate in here? I'm still here. I feel a little better though. My hands are still shaking. I have to get out of here now. I have tried to lose some screws in the front door with my bare hand. Now I am bleeding and my hands are raw. I turned around when I heard someone whisper my name behind me, but there is no one there. So the loot always are gone, which means everything is a dead end. Which means if something demonic starts chasing me, I can't get away from it or juke it through. Or play ring around. I'm not alone in here. I never, s I never was. I hear disturbing sounds, whispering in the dark. The voices are getting louder now. I sweat heavily. I should drink more, but there is no water left. 
a gasp for air, I feel like I'm climbing a mountain and the air becomes thinner with each step. Okay, this is definitely changed. There's a picture, there's this picture with the imprint, Got Mithurans, neither do I believe in God, nor do I believe in ghosts, but I swear that when I approached that picture I saw a face in it, just for a fraction of a second, but it was there. What is this place? It was the person in the picture. Where do those voices come from? I am tired. So this jerk. Okay, I think that's when the um, face appeared, but I didn't see it. Maybe I blinked. That was a blink. Okay. I should have known it. Diana is a filthy spy. Sam caught her when she tried to sneak out here early this morning, tried to steal a map and some food rations. Rations. She will pay for this, we trusted her and she betrayed us. First we will shave her skull. Okay, uh, that's disturbing. <laughs> that's the disturbing part. Alright, what's that noise? I thought there was supposed to be a jump scare here with the one jump sound. So they're torturing Diana now. No, oh, that's different. So this is the final night here. Okay, I heard something. Maybe it's the front door. What if we try and open it now? Nope, okay. sleep again, my dream. In my dreams I saw myself sitting in a room and the walls the walls were moving the room was getting smaller and smaller. I woke up sweating and screaming, gasping for air. Gasping, yeah. I feel weak now. I ran out of water and food. I hear someone screaming again. Again That's uh yeah. Well, it's after full stop, so they heard it once more. The main door is gone. It was always right here, but now it's gone. Why is this happening to me? I'm being punished for something that I have done in the past. 
There's no way out. I will die in this hole. Oh, it's jammed again. around aimlessly those ugly pictures those ugly pictures now there are more of them they are trying to tell me something I do not understand and this is the um, really scary part those ugly statues like thing in one of the rooms it was not there yesterday it looks if someone was poured liquid concrete on a person and let it dry the statue is holding a key it is offering it to me is this the key to the main door the main door is gone is this a joke when, it, when I picked up the key the statue whispered Come to here, join me. So it's probably German. Of course, if a German person is watching the video, they will, they will understand. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay, nothing in there. And now this is gone. Still there. Okay. So I think this is the end of the game. Sometime in November, okay. The key opened a locked chest. Is this the chest I found? In the chest I found a syringe. Morphine. Morphine. I'm pretty sure that this could kill me. Is this the only way out of here? Isn't this a better... Isn't this better than dying of thirst? Okay. There's still one more note that I know of exists. What about that locked place? Okay, now this opens. The statue is holding, showing me a way. No, not a way. That way. That way. I can finally leave this place, but what does? What did it mean? When it said join me, I guess I'll find out. I am ready. The floor in one of the rooms is unfinished. We will dig a hole there and then force the f to sit in it. Then we'll fill up with concrete. 
She screamed like a little girl. We had to break her legs, okay. <laughs> this is the most disturbing note out of all. To make... Okay, this part doesn't exactly make sense. To make he sit still. Once she swallowed liquid concrete, she became silent. So this is the end of the game now. We didn't get the jump scare where the woman just jumps out from behind the corner. Okay, I think I didn't activate it in one of the nights, because I probably avoid that specific thing. Bunk 16 by Cyril O. So, that was Bunk 16. Like, the quality and the textures kind of look like infra. So yes, but in options, the FAV, audio volume B, turn V-Sync off, our sensitivity, that's fine. Okay, I thought there would be like, uh, quality settings, but I guess that's in like the actual main, or like when you start up the game, Unity, it shows. So yeah, next game.